Hello students, today I am going to explain you about verbs. In the previous PPT, we have read about different parts of speech and I have informed you that there are 8 parts of speech and one of them is verbs. So, today we will learn about verbs in detail. Before starting the explanation, students, please read the following sentences carefully. Mother Teresa was the founder of the missionaries of charity. She served the poor and the sick. She had a kind and loving heart. So students, just pay attention. In these sentences, was, served and had are verbs. In sentence A or the first sentence was tells the position or state of being of the subject that is Mother Teresa. In sentence B the verb served indicates the action of the subject. In the above sentence state of being of the subject and in the second sentence it indicates the action of the subject. In sentence third, had indicates her position, means a kind and loving heart. The subject in each of the above sentences is Mother Teresa and she. So students, we can say that a verb is a word that is used to indicate the position or condition of the subject to denote the action of the subject or what is possessed by the subject. And in easy words, you can say verbs are action words or doing words. A verb is a word that tells or asserts something about a person or thing. Verb comes from the Latin verbum. The word is verbum. It is so called because it is the most important word in a sentence. Now pay attention students. A verb may tell us what a person or thing does. For example, hurry laughs. What the person is doing? He is laughing. So, laughs. The clock strikes. So, laughs, strikes. What are these? These are verbs. A verb also tells us what is done to a person or thing. For example, hurry is scolded. The window is broken. Here, the subject is hurry. And the window and what had happened to them. Hurry is scolded and the window is broken. So, here is scolded and is broken are verbs. A verb may also tell us what a person or thing is. For example, the cat is dead. Glasses brittle. I feel sorry. So, here is and feel. What are these? These are verbs because they are telling us what a person or thing is. A verb often consists of more than one word. So, please do not get confused. For example, the girls were singing. So, here the verb is were singing. I have learnt my lesson, have learnt. The watch, the watch has been found. So, these are verbs. I hope you have understood what are verbs. So, students, in the next PPT, I am going to explain you about transitive and intransitive verbs. Thanks a lot students for patience listening. Try to solve the exercises based on verbs.